Lego is absolutely no stranger when it comes to movie sets. They've done some of the biggest blockbusters known to man. They did Jurassic World, which ended up box officing around $1.6 billion, spearheaded by Chris Pratt. They've done Lego Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, the three movies combined, doing over $3 billion in the box office. And these figures are not super easy to find anymore. They are on the rarer side. They've had Marty McFly from Back to the Future, grossing $400 million in the box office in 1985 money. Indiana Jones, another $400 million box office movie. They even made their own movie, The Lego Movie, which grossed $500 million. And possibly one of my favorite Lego adaptations is the Harry Potter franchise, which just has significantly looked creepier and creepier throughout the sets they've released. That's supposed to be Severus Snape. And that's a Gringotts dwarf thing. What, what are they called? Gringotts Goblin. Very terrifying nightmare fuel. Again, they've gotten better at making these over the years, but the early adaptations of them are hilarious. And that's for a film franchise that in total has grossed over $10 billion across all of their movies nationwide and worldwide. 10 billion dollars and they made this. The point is that Lego has made countless blockbuster films with their toys and they just keep making more. But we're gonna check out some blockbuster film minifigures that Lego has not made yet. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below. Later on in this video, we are going to be having a giveaway that you can enter in. Stay tuned to check out what that giveaway is and what to type in the comment section below in order to enter in to win that giveaway. Either way guys, let's get into the video. How about we start off with one of the most iconic blockbusters of the 80s, or was it 70s? I can't remember now. It's E.T., baby. You can have the little gremlin alien riding on the back of his bicycle right here, having a dandy old time in Lego form. Or how about the man with the license to kill, James Bond? Due to the light hair, I think this is the Daniel Craig James Bond, and he does come with an ace of spades. So, you know, he's in Casino Royale, he's playing some cards, he can pull this trick up his sleeve, or, oh well, he can just use his license to kill and kaplawi, you're done. Continuing on the topic of stone cold killers, how about John Brick right here? Yeah, Keanu himself. John Wick Chapter 4 is coming out fairly soon, so it'll be fun to see the new innovative ways he finds to uh, Minecraft not alive people. But uh, pretty sick minifigure. Matches James Bond well. Next up, we are representing the horror movie franchises. We have a fat stack of horror movie minifigures. Quite the horror movie lineup right here. We've got Edward Scissorhands, portrayed by Johnny Depp himself. Then we have Jack Nicholas's The Shining character. He is Johnny, and he even has the carpet, the famous carpet that Stanley Kubrick used in The Shining. Up next, we've got the guy from Nightmare on Elm Street. Never seen the movie. Ghostface from Scream. One of the funniest Halloween horror movies out there. And It, the clown from It with his red balloon coming out of the sewer system. And Chucky right there as well. Never seen Chucky. Dolls creep me out way too much to watch that. And finally, Michael Myers. Or is it Mike Myers? I think Mike Myers is the comedian from like Wayne's World. <laughs> and Austin Powers. I think this is Michael Myers. I think we need to get a little bit more lighthearted with the bros from Pokemon. We got Professor Oak wielding the Master Ball, of course. He's the prof, the OG, and look at him. He is all chatted up. Of course, Pokemon has had its movies. Pokemon the Movie 2000, the Pokemon Movie, and countless others. I'm decently sure this is supposed to be Ash Ketchum right here but it's just like a newer version of Ash Ketchum. I haven't watched the anime since the Sinnoh region, something like that, so it's been a hot minute, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a newer version of Ash wielding the Pokeball. He's my champion. He's the people's champion. Speaking of kids media, we've got ourselves Percy Jackson right here. Percy Jackson, the lightning thief. Uh, and honestly, all of the Percy Jackson books were just like an absolute favorite of mine growing up. I mean, who doesn't like themselves some Percy Jackson? He's got a gold sword right here. It's been a while since I've read Percy. 
Percy Jackson, so I don't understand the gold sword. For some reason, I thought it was a gold trident, like Poseidon's trident, but it's a sword. And then he's got like a little, uh, it's sort of eh, Spartan style helmet right there as well. Very nice. I will say though, the movies, they they kind of sucked compared to the books. I think it's time for us to get into some all-time cinema classics. We've got quite a number of movie theater classics right here. Starting us off is actually another Keanu Reeves film. This is the second instance of Keanu for the day. And we've got, will you take the red pill or the blue pill? That's definitely not the quote, but I can't remember it right now. We've got Neo right here, of course, with his Boon and an AK-47. <laughs> All right, The Matrix, boys. There's been a lot of talk about The Matrix lately, and it is cringy. I, I'm not liking what they're doing to the legacy of this movie. But then we have one of my favorite all-time spaghetti westerns, right up there with The Magnificent Seven, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And we have Blondie right here from that. I could have gotten Tuco uh, and the other guy. I can't remember his name, but meh. Decided not to because, honestly, all you really need is Blondie. Then from the movie 300, we have the King of the Spartans, Leonidas. They actually had to ship this in a, in a separate container because it was such a long spear. And next to him, we have Jason Bateman, Christian Bale's character from American Psycho. I only just recently watched that movie, like a couple years ago in college, and it was a great movie. Then we, of course, have Mad Max. I think this is the newer Mad Max from Fury Road, not the Mel Gibson version, which honestly I like Fury Road better than like Thunderdome or the original Mad Max, so I'm okay with it. And finally, for our cinema classics, we have ourselves Bruce Willis, John McClane. Yeah, die hard right here. He's got the Zippo lighter. He's got a little walkie-talkie. He even has a nice watch on. This is a beautiful John McClane minifigure. He's even balding a little bit, just like Bruce Willis. <laughs> Although he's full-on bald now, so there's that. Also, the lighter even moves. <gasps> Does it catch on fire? Now that we've looked at some real cinema, it's time to look at what some consider to be the bane of cinema, which would be, of course, superhero movies. Uh, the person leading the charge against superhero movies being Martin Scorsese. I personally love superhero movies, and it was a little tough finding characters that LEGO hasn't necessarily made yet, uh, and that's because LEGO has done a lot of DC superheroes. They've also done a whole lot of Marvel superheroes. So we've got some more niche ones here. They're not niche, they're just things LEGO doesn't really do. We've got Pro Professor Xavier right here. I think they've actually done him before, but I just liked the look of this Professor Xavier a lot, so I picked him up. He's got a wheelchair, he's got a suit, and I just like the character. So, there. But then, we've got two versions of Deadpool right here. Uh, we've got <laughs> Vacation Deadpool. It is floaty, and he's got like a little fan, a, a hand fan right there that he can hold. <laughs> Lego doesn't really deal with Deadpool too much, mainly because he's such a vulgar character, but man, do I love Deadpool. And then we, of course, have Dadpool over here. Baby-wielding Deadpool. And just next to him, we have two different versions of the Joker. My personal favorite version of the Joker, right here, Heath Ledger's Joker from The Dark Knight. Man, I would have loved to see what they would have done with his character, in the third movie because obviously they had plans for him however sadly Heath Ledger did die R.I.P such an amazing actor and his portrayal of the Joker goes down in history as in my opinion the best ever but a close second for me is Joaquin Phoenix's Joker from the Joker movie apparently the sequel is gonna be a like a opera or something like that or a musical i'm not totally sold on that but hey i guess they want to be quirky with it so we have joaquin Phoenix's the joker here time for our final bonus round but bonus round of lego minifigures from movies we have ourselves jim carrey's the mask he used to just love the mask man great movie then we've got sean of the dead simon Pegg, right here and he's even got a little action plan for himself right here it's, it's tiny i don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but I can read it. Uh, it says, take car, go to mom's, kill Phil, 
uh, grab Liz, go to the Winchester, have a cold pint, wait for this to all blow over. Beautiful action plan there. Uh, and then we've got, of course, the Grinch who stole Christmas. I was going to use this in a Christmas video, but ended up bagging it uh, for a different Christmas video that you can go see now. And finally, Zorro, because Zorro is just so unbelievably dope. Alrighty then, gamers, we have checked out quite a number of Lego movie minifigures today, uh, and it was pretty much a blast for me. I had a great time, so why don't we go ahead and get into the freaking giveaway, baby. Today, we're giving away four of these minifigures series, 23 packs where you can get a random mystery minifigure in each of them, as well as one of these Hoth battle packs for you guys. All you gotta do is hit the like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below the favorite movie figure you saw in this video, or what movie minifigure you'd like to see LEGO make in the future. Shouts out to the newest channel member, Savania Davies Keeler. Appreciate all of you guys who have joined the channel membership. All you gotta do to do that is click the join button right on next to the subscribe button. It helps me out a ton in making these videos and you get to get a little shout out in every single video. Either way guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.